here to our marvellous lounge at Gatwick Airport. Uh, it's our first lounge here in the UK. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, well, welcome again to our 25th anniversary celebrations at Gatwick. This is a momentous day for both Emirates and Gatwick. Because 25 years ago today, a virtually unknown airline touched down at Gatwick with a daily service from Dubai. Emirates had been born just two years earlier and only had six aircraft in the fleet at that time, and the only connections we offered beyond Dubai were to two cities in India and one in Pakistan. Today, a state-of-the-art 8380 will operate the service, becoming the first ever scheduled 8380 to operate from Gatwick. In those 25 intervening years, Emirates has become a global airline, operating to all six continents with a fleet of over 175 wide-bodied aircraft. With the A380, we have 21 in service and a further 69 to follow. And when this A380 departs this afternoon, it will have over 500 passengers on board. I know Lorraine's a bit worried it might have too many passengers on board. <laughs> it will be their first ever scheduled departure from Gatwick. And I believe, that nobody can back me up on this, that it's the highest ever scheduled passenger load to be uplifted from this airport. In those intervening 25 years, Gatwick has remained at the heart of the Emirates operation. We now operate three services a day from this airport, offering more than a thousand seats. And the lounge you're in today was our very first lounge in the United Kingdom, opened seven years ago. Going back 25 years, Dubai was a very different place as well. There were only two beach hotels, but then there was very little or no tourism. However, Back in 1987, the rulers of Dubai, the Maktoum family, were very forward-looking. They had already realized they had to plan for a time when the oil was going to run out. So they were planning for commerce, they were, they were planning for trade, and they were planning for tourism. Today, Dubai is certainly a world city, attracting more than 10 million visitors every year. The airport has become a major hub, and certainly lives up to its motto, where the world connects. And of course where we are, Gatwick was a very different place 25 years ago. Just one terminal. And we operated out of the South Terminal in those days, handling just 15 million passengers. Today, under the great new management, Gatwick has become a superb airport, handling almost 35 million passengers a year. There's been huge investments all over the airport, but particularly here in the North Terminal, which has given our customers a great customer experience. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank Gatwick Airport, all our suppliers who are here today, and some of the original travel agents who sold seats on that very first service back in 1987. And I've also got some of the staff here that joined us back in 1987, very loyal and faithful staff who've helped us make such a great success. Thank you all very much indeed. So Guy, over to you. Thank you very much, Laurie. <clears throat> I absolutely love working here at Gatwick Airport, uh, but I think, I have to say, this is one of my best days uh, since I've been here. It makes me extremely proud to be part of the community here, as I see uh, this A380 land, and for our, our relationship with uh, Emirates uh, to take on yet another phase. I think we're great partners, actually, and when I think about Emirates uh, as a business, um, two things spring to mind, Laurie. One is uh, your vision and the scale of your ambition, and secondly, uh, the meticulous way you execute uh, your, your, the delivery of your product. Um, I was struck um, <clears throat> just last year when I went to Dubai and heard a presentation by Emirates about how they viewed the world. Uh, and they clearly understood um, where population growth uh, was taking place. They clearly understood where economic growth was taking place. And those many years ago, they had the vision to understand that they were the right in the heart of where they could make global trade flows and passenger flows work. And it took some very special people, I think, early in the Emirates um, story to make that happen. Uh, they saw that vision, they understood how they could create it, and they executed it flawlessly. Um, and that is absolutely something that we would aspire to here at Gatwick. And thank you for your kind words about the airports, uh, Laurie. Uh, we certainly would, would aspire to those. And I'd like to think that, um, that we're doing things with the quality that our airline customers expect. Um, 25 years is an awful long time, um, but actually the, the fact that we've got staff here who, who were here at, at the commencement of operations is really quite remarkable. But just a few words about Gatwick. Um, 
you know, we, since the transfer of ownership in 2009, we have had a very strong commitment to transform this airport and to compete in the London market uh, to be London's airport of choice. And we, we absolutely mean it, and we live and breathe uh, that vision. Uh, you know, we, we're very keen to see new services start and also to make sure the services that, that we have here are successful. And I'd like to think that the work we've done over the last 18 months particularly has, has really begun to, to show fruit in its performance here. Um, and I have to say that A380 uh, landing just now, when I saw it land, was a, actually a very emotional experience. I just want to see more of them. You know, <laughs> you get an appetite for these things, and um, I'm very, very keen to see more, more of those aircraft landing. Um, but just one final thing, and we, we are investing heavily. We're actually at the thickest part of our investment program right now in, in the years since GRP bought the airport. Um, there's an awful lot of work going on. Uh, and um, you know, credit to, to the many Gatwick staff who put uh, hours of, of dedicated effort into transforming the airport uh, and for serving the customers well. And I know particularly the teams have worked extremely well to make this uh, particular day uh, work flawlessly. So congratulations to Paul Fitch and his team uh, for all the work he's put in with the airman staff. So uh, that's just winding me up. Thank you very much for listening and uh, really enjoy your day. It's a very proud day for us here and congratulations to all Thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. What's the name of the airline? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Lovely, that's absolutely wonderful. Thank you. 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 Okay, let's have a look, see how the writing comes out. Oh, perfect. Good. Go on, give it a good old oof. <laughs> Round of applause, definitely, from somebody.